counting the people that I knew that have passed, have passed. You know, I just sat down and shook my head. It is so real. I asked them, what are they? Someday, somebody or someone else will remember me like that. And we all gonna go. So the purpose of us coming here is to know God, that God is the only one that is worthy of worshiping and commemorated and praising was exalted in the name of our Lord. So, we should try and live a righteous life. Surah 88 says, In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful, are you aware of the over overwhelming faces on that day will be shamed? Faces on that day will be shamed because those faces have wasted all the time that Almighty God has given them. They don't call God name when they eat. They don't come God. They don't praise God. They don't worship God. They have nothing. If you ask them, who created God? If you ask them, who created the heavens? Oh God. Then God say, how did you? Then how did you deviate? Look at the sky. God says he's the one that created the sky and he's holding the sky. No one can create the sky and hold the sky. That that he sent water and snow from the sky for us. So we cannot go wrong by commemorating him and worshiping him alone. He continued again to say that laboring and exhausted, suffering, suffering in the blaze hell fire, drinking from a flaming spring, they will have no food except the useless variety. Because God has provided us with good food and everything here, and we, they enjoy it, but they don't think about the one who make it possible, who created those food for them. For them, it never nourishes, nor satis satisfied hunger. Other faces on that day will be full of joy. May Almighty God help us to be—I mean—to do things that will let us be among those those people. Because he says, other faces on that day will be full of joy, satisfied with their work. In an exalted paradise, in it no nonsense is heard, in it a spring flows, in it there are luxurious furnishings and drinks made available, and pitches in rows and carpet throughout. Why do they not reflect on the camel and how they are created? Maybe some of us haven't seen camel in our life. Uh, the way God created camel, Allah Akbar. Camel can travel on in the uh, in the desert thousands of miles without drinking water. And camel leg, you know, this leg here can it burns. It is like a two or three three how do you call it? Allah, God be glorified. So even by reflecting on, on, on the way God created Kamer, should let them at that time, Muhammad time, when we were, even the Kamer still exists, <laughs> when we reflect on the Kamer, how God created Kamer, we we'll praise God right there. the sky and how it is raised and the mountains and how they are constructed and the earth and how it is built you shall remind for your mission is to deliver this reminder you have no power over them as for those who turn away and disbelieve god will commit them to the great retribution to us is their ultimate destiny then we will call them to account so humans Machines have an account to do. Please, we should not forget, we have an account to do. May Almighty God help us to do things that please Him. May Almighty God guide us. Um, uh, may Almighty God accept our prayers when we pray to Him. So I would like us to, to pray. Allah, 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 Allah,